Luke says he wants substance and not flash pregame. And you guys back that up with nearly a shutout and hold a passing offense to under 200 yards passing. What does it feel like? Honestly, it feels amazing. It feels amazing that, you know, coach had a plan for us and then we bought into the plan. So it feels amazing to go out there and perform as a defense like we should and how, how we expect it to. What worked so well for you guys? I mean, like James said, six points. Like, what were you guys doing so well? You think it was so effective? I think really just putting pressure on the quarterback. You know, that was just some things that we thought that he didn't handle very well. So, you know, just putting, putting a little bit of pressure on him and then letting the D-line go to work, so. How well do you think this defensive line in front of you performed and, and how much of this is attributed to just the consistent pressure? Yeah, I think they played amazing overall. Uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was like six sacks. I, I, I don't remember, but seven, seven. yeah, somewhere around that. Yeah, crazy numbers, but yeah, I think they played tremendously well. We saw some advanced for game speech and this came out through ESPN. Like, what was that like for you guys just now or like after the game today? Did it, did it feel special? Did it feel different than usual? Uh, no, not really. I mean, shoot. Just keeping our poise, really, that was it. You know, it was just another game for us. And, you know, they were the next people, the next person on our schedule. So, yeah, just keeping our poise and then just buying into, you know, our preparation. You know, our preparation is always going to lead out to great outcomes like we want them to be. So, you know, expecting to win is always just believing in that. <laughs> Coming into the season, the defense talked about being feared. What kind of statement do you feel like you guys put out to the nation today? I think we put on uh, a real that we, we can we can hang with number one like top offenses in the nation you know what i mean so yeah we're not we're not scared of no scared of no uh you know explosive offenses like that you know what i mean we've, we've got the firepower just like you know offenses do on the defensive side of the ball like, maybe a little disrespected or just not talked enough about these last three weeks just how good you guys can be yeah i mean shoot always you know it was a lot of hype around the game obviously we all know that but you know, just coming down to, you know, let's let's earn our respect. You know, let's go out there and earn that respect. And I think that's what we did. Did you know Casey Rogers was that fast? I did not, no. So I was in on playing. I was blocking down, and then I turned around, and I, I see. I think he hit about a 22, I don't know, but somewhere around there. But, yeah. moving. Yeah, he was moving a lot. What was your reaction when Dan says, let's fake it, and you're inside your own 20, the punter's basically at the goal line. Like, are you all thinking it's going to, you know, is there any kind of, oh, wow, wow, really going for this? No, not really. I mean, shoot, defensively we were playing great. So if we if we didn't go if we didn't get the first down, we we're, were going to shut them out. So yep. I feel like all the you guys were able to get to Shadur a lot. Do you think that has a toll just on him mentally of hearing footsteps? Or, did you witness any of that out there at all? Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, always getting the quarterback off the spot. You know, a quarterback like Shadur likes to sit in the pocket a lot, but you know, getting getting him off the spot, you know, it's gonna mess up the routes too. You know, receivers gotta adjust to him. You know, being able to run. So I think that's something that we did well. You came to the play of the game. It was actually given to all the sacks on defense. Just, just how cool is that to see your, you, you guys getting that kind of do? Because normally in that situation, that's that's not the play of the game. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really cool. You know, just for the defense to you know earn some respect and you know see the defense that that we you know all the preparation and all the the hard work and dedication that we've been through. You know what I mean? So, you know, just. Just the respect that we've earned. I think we earned a lot of respect this game. So. Just how dangerous is this team overall when the defense is clicking and the offense is clicking? It's who I don't I don't even got a word for you really. So I mean, it's dangerous. It's real dangerous, and I, I think we're cooking with grease at that point. How much momentum builder is it when the offense and the defense both play so, uh, at such a high level at the same time like you guys did, you know, in this game? Uh, what was that? Sorry. What's it just you know to play in this game? The momentum it builds when the offense and the defense are playing at a high level together at the same time, like you guys did this one, where three and outs, quick scores. Yeah, I think overall, just for the whole you know, the whole team, it gives the whole team you know confidence and energy. You know what I mean? We're we're stopping them on defense and we're scoring on offense. So I think it just goes down to you know elite execution. That's something that we we praised this week in practice was elite execution. You know, having good energy, keeping our poise. You know, not. Not having a lot of penalties. I know we had a couple penalties today, but you know, just little things like that, the small details. Do you think your defense is cooking with grease right now, or do you still think there's there's more to get to that level? I still think there's more. I think I still think there's more. I, I really wish we would have uh, shut them out to zero, but I still think there's more. What do you, what does more look like <laughs> in your eyes? Yeah, I would for sure just have to say takeaways, taking the ball away. I mean, Colorado did have a takeaway on Bo. I, I think that was both through that. So you know, yeah, just takeaways. Obviously, a lot of guys flying around to the ball and a, a, a D-line getting a lot of sacks and pressure on the quarterback. So, yeah, now it's just time for us to take the ball away.